obviously, though, we are finally in the clear out here. Temperatures yesterday, poof, it was such an atmosphere for severe weather. It was kind of intense. 85 degrees was our high temperature. That is well above average into those mid to upper 80s, near 90 degrees into Fond du Lac. Whew. Humidity felt like Alabama down there. My goodness. So all of those ingredients with those strong winds, a tornado touched down into Angelica, hopped over 29, touched down again into a field and continued its way towards the houses of Pulaski. A lot of people dealing with trees uprooted, falling down onto their houses. One lady had to get evacuated. I'm sorry, the whole family was evacuated because a tree hit the power line, which was still active with all the water and they needed to get out of the house. As of 8 o'clock yesterday, they still were not allowed back in. So a lot of people dealing with a lot of stuff out there from trees down into Swamico all the way through Door County. Ro uh, shingles are ripped off a roof there and hit a car passing by. So just a wild weather Wednesday once again. Flash flooding too as well as we got a quick 1 to 3 inches of rainfall coming down in such a short amount of time. We've seen flash flooding since Saturday. We need a break and you could tell we're going to have a break because our temperatures are anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday morning. Looks a little interesting out there as that sun reflects on some high level clouds, but the sun is shining bright and temperatures are into those upper 50s to some upper 60s as you step outside this morning. A little bit comfortable, a little bit sticky right on the edge of that as winds are still out of the south, pulling in some humidity at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But overall, notice those deep greens much further down to the south and away from us and that heat advisory being reduced down into Illinois and Indiana as well. No longer into the state of Wisconsin. So clear skies out there right now, but yes, still some flood warnings in effect, especially onto the Wisconsin River here today. And then we're looking at that severe weather just gone and out of here. We don't have to worry about it. But this is what we're looking at as some showers move into northwest Wisconsin along a cold front. We could see a sprinkle or two through our afternoon hours right around lunch. But honestly, I think it's just going to get cloudy for a minute and then roll right past us here as we go into our evening for a beautiful sunset. Overnight, severe weather stays down to the south of us as a high pressure starts to move in, giving us abundant sunshine for quite a while. Let me tell you what, we are going to see sunny skies as soon as tomorrow all throughout the weekend. Just a few high level passing clouds and those dew points dropping as well as winds switch to out of the north tomorrow and get a little breezy. A much more comfortable air mass moves in and highs will be much cooler. So today feeling like summer into those low to mid 80s. Tonight falling down in the mid to upper 50s. Mostly clear, still breezy. Winds shift. Look at those high temperatures for your Friday into the mid to upper 70s. Winds shift again though as we push into the end of the weekend where we are going to see some temperatures into the low 80s by Sunday. And then as we climb into next week, into the mid to upper 80s, we go again, building humidity, but a lot of sunshine to be had and no more severe storms in the forecast, at it's, least for the next seven days. Yeah, <laughs> it's always nice to just have a smile on your face when you only see suns after a week like this. Yes. <laughs>